What's up, y'all? Not so difficult here. And today I wanted to talk about Doom Eternal and Mission 3. Dude, I, first off, I want to say that the freaking whiplashes are just so freaking annoying to deal with. Like, I feel like I have, the only way for me to get through them like consistently without me dying is through having a... A, up, a semi upgraded rocket launcher, which is, uh, which is the lock on burst. Dude, if I don't have that, I just die. Their freaking seismic wave attack when they like hit the ground, which tracks you is, is absurd. It does decent damage. Their freaking frame one whip attack. The whiplashes are top five most annoying enemy types in the game for sure. And it's just. Getting pat, getting past them without the ballista, in my opinion, is just such a struggle. Especially when there's when they're throwing multiple whiplashes at you at the same time, which Mission Three does. Now, if I don't have my plasma rifle fully with the the what you what you call it, the freaking charge shot, the the, the freaking shockwave thing. If that shit's not level three maxed out max charged i'm not killing them with just my basic shotgun or machine gun i need an ice bomb or something to freeze these guys to just max out my damage just to kill these little f but uh yeah do me turn i'm i'm struggling to get mission three like i'm i'm having a, a blast um playing streaming doom ultra nightmare but man, I clearly I just need more practice. It's clear. I when I first started to go back and play Doom Eternal, I was at like sixty hours. I took a break and just did like forty hours off stream practicing, playing over, over and over again on Nightmare. And I'm still struggling on the same spots. Dude, this game is significantly harder than 2016 and it's clear i think it's gonna take me like double or triple the the amount of practice to get through this one because dude it, like there's so it's such a little room for you to there's little room for you to like make a mistake which is crazy the game leaves such little room for you to make a mistake and it punishes you heavily it's either you're mad low or you die that's it okay like they punish your mistakes heavy and you if you don't fully understand what you're going up against at least in my opinion if you don't understand what you're going up against in these arenas you're, you're gonna struggle you're gonna die you're gonna you're gonna like me crack under pressure and just start making all these mistakes so really i really need to take the time to analyze in like these or each arena and know what exactly i'm going up against and counter counter them effectively destroy their weak spots and um just utilize my weapons far better than i are that i already am and to be honest i think i don't even think i'm utilizing my weapons at its best at, at, at its true potential um the mancubus dude if you don't destroy their cannons their orbs of destruction they take up too they're too oppressive they're too oppressive you gotta destroy i feel like the rock and launch, the lock on the rocket launcher isn't bad against them like you use the lock on burst rocket launcher and you just shoot them again with the regular rocket or shoot them with the uh the precision bolt machine gun they should go into a stagger state but it's just the them having their their cannons is just they are just such a threat they're so oppressive on the on these arenas that you, you gotta focus them the revenants aren't that bad by comparison to the the mancubus oh uh my next problem is oh, dude i have again i gotta fix this obsession with throwing my life away for these stupid <laughs> challenges man i did it in 2016 it got me killed over and over and over again and I'm doing it. I'm doing the same thing. I, maybe I, I didn't show this off in the, the the past streams as much, 
but I'm always my 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 brain. I'm always thinking about y'all yeah, gotta do this challenge like right here, right now, right now. Like, cause I, I know the second I level up my I max up my super shotgun, I, I'm I'm trying to get that shit upgraded as fast as possible. I'm trying to I used the the meat hook mod right and try to like finish off all my kills with the super shotgun. Even though like the game is long, I don't need to like go out of my way to do that you know so it's it's pretty bad yeah so i go out of my way to freaking i endanger my life for these stupid challenges and it's just not worth it so i feel like i, I really need to get in the habit of not doing that because once i do that i think i'll be playing a whole lot more smarter and i'll be surviving a whole lot more and uh what else what else what else the f yo the full auto mod for the 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 combat shotgun is amazing. That mod once you like get the special ability you just do, you just don't run out of shotgun ammo. It's, it's amazing. Like I I love it. So I'm definitely going to prioritize that for one of my early upgrades because pinkies are they don't they don't pop up until mission four I believe. So I have time to slowly level that up as the mission progresses. The precision bolt is amazing, but I feel like once, even if it's, I feel like the precision bolt is good enough the way it is to, you know, like destroy the, the parts off of specific parts off of, uh, the higher tier at demons, which is the main purpose of that weapon. Anyways, um, micro missiles is cool, but it does a lot of damage, but without the upgrade, it's very lackluster, but, uh, yeah, I just, at this point, I just need to improve my combat awareness um and survivability because dude like i when 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 it when the game just throws so many demons at you i just start getting nervous i start making mistakes especially when i see multiple man mancubuses at coming like shooting me with these freaking with their on uh their armored cannons it's over man it's a wrap like i it's it's real bad i i, I sp up um, air control, I've been using, I've been making, I've been getting in the habit of, per, uh, getting the air control rune first instead of, uh, the blood field. I feel like the game has been getting a little bit easier and, you know, it's, it, it's crazy how, um, the, giving the ability to adjust your strafes mid air changes, it changes so much because the, the, it changes the game so much because the AI's like aim are just amazing and if you do if you do long strafes they start they start um shooting ahead and their shots are are guaranteed to hit if you have predictable predictable uh movement mo uh, mo uh side strafes so i think doing long strafes are are detrimental like you have to do short strafes to dodge shots better which I have, which I've noticed. I picked that up on 2016, and uh, yeah, I it's something that I've noticed in Halo games as well, especially Halo Five. But uh, yeah, doing short strafes would help out a lot, and jumping and having proper air control in the air is so important. So I'm definitely start prioritizing that. But yeah, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time to get better. Hopefully next stream. I know I say this all the time. Next stream, hopefully you reach mission four. You probably won't, but uh, yeah, I'll probably stream again sometime later this week, cause I freaking love Doom. I love playing that game, and I love it so much that I'm looking for alternative games that are like it already. So yeah, um, that's my video. I wanted to talk about uh Doom Eternal, my struggles, my my mistakes, and I'm s and me slowly trying to squash those mistakes and get better and hopefully beat this game on ultra nightmare uh oh yo also that saving throw rune i'm never using it my pride won't let me i'm not gonna let something i'm gonna do this all in one life i'm not gonna use some cheap rune that protects me when i actually die and i don't reset i actually it, it actually saves me and it resets off cooldown when you die so you only get so in, in ultra nightmare you only have one extra life. I ain't using it. I ain't. I'm beating this in one life throughout.
that's it. If I don't do it in one life throughout, then I, I'm I just gotta get better. It's a skill issue. So yeah, that's uh, those are my thoughts. I love Doom Eternal, having a blast. I just wanted to get my thoughts out. Yeah, so those are my current thoughts and opinions on my uh, the uh, knowing enemy types. Uh, my current thoughts on the challenge that Ultra Nightmare places on me. And yeah, this game's kicking my ass, but I'm having a blast. I'm having fun. And uh, I'm going to continue the grind. And hopefully one day I beat this all in one life and conquer this challenge. And what a challenge it is. Take care, guys, and have a good one.